Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when William Ruto took over power, he said that they will never use police in their governance to settle political scores. But we knew all this was just but hot air. I'm saying this because it has been evidently clear that Ruto regime is using police to deal with those people who are in line with what they are doing. If you are seen like you are fighting them, they will use police to deal with you. Now, during uh, Mukami Kimanthi uh, Barrio, Raila Odinga in the company of Mwangi Wairia and Maina Njenga arrived at that home. And when Raila got to speak, he acknowledged Mwangi Wairia and Maina Njenga. The public received Maina Njenga with a lot of joy, just by Raila Odinga mentioning the name. That alone caused a problem. So Raila appearing with Maina Njenga, it means Maina Njenga subscribed to Raila Mwangi politics. And of course, even during campaign, you could see he was buying on a Kano ticket, which was part of the Azimio coalition at Laikipe territorial seat, which again, he lost. So what happened after that? The police launched a raid on a tree of Maina Njenga's home. There is one in Nairobi, another one in Nakuru, and another one in Laikipe. So on 13th of the last day, Maina Njenga was in public. And after the raid, the story came out that they have found Maina Njenga in possession of two firearms and 90 rolls of bang. <laughs> so today, Maina Njenga decided to uh, present himself before the DCI at Nakuru County. So he surrendered himself together with his uh, advocate, um, uh, is it uh, Njeru? And the funny thing is that after appearing before the at the police station, when he left, the youth, men and ladies, were waiting for Maina Njenga outside the, that station. So what is going to anger William Samuel Ruto is the reception that Maina Njenga and the support he got from the people of Nakuru County. Watch this shortly. <laughs>
Ouais, tu n'as pas ici. Yeah. Tu ne peux pas se Tu ne peux pas te faire mettre dans ta photo. Yeah. Now we are continuing the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To the returners, brother Samasa, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back to this discussion. Now, it is very clear that Maina Njanga is good at mobilizing. And uh, this is one of the problems that Ruto Gashagwa are going to face. So the person who might be hunting for Maina Njenga, it could be regarding the Gashagwa. And of course, George Wajakoya told us how Gashagwa is misusing police officers. He has become the police commander, the one giving orders. And he knows very well that youth might end up listening to Maina Njenga than Gashagwa. The reason is very simple. There was too much promise this government gave to the people during campaign. But what we are seeing on the ground is totally different from what people are expected from this government. It is different. They have failed totally and all signs are showing that they have no interest to, to deliver on the promises they gave to Kenyans. So Mount Kenya region need people who will stand in the gap and fight on their behalf. People who will lead the fight and they will follow. Maina Njenga is coming out as that person. And Maina is taking the people to Raila Molodinga side. That's where Uhuru Kenyatta belong. That's where Mother Karua belong. That's where other leaders who feel that Ruto lied to them, Mamamboga, Boda Boda, and the businessmen are going to subscribe to. So there is that kind of a uh, perception Kenya Kwanza is trying to create that who is pondering Maina Njenga, now they are with Rela Molodinga here, and that means if he has resources, then he can mobilize numbers. That number will start with the youth, and that's why you can see, even after being interrogated at the DCI, the youth were outside. It's a clear message they are sending to this government. <laughs> If you are humiliating Maina Njenga and the people are just coming to see him, when you are going to see him, he was in Laikipia County. Now he was in Nakuru, but he still has people who support him who are coming out just to know what he's going through. That's Nakuru. So look at that. From Laikipia politics, now you are in Nakuru. You have your people. He got to Nairobi, he will have the youth there. That means... Maina Njenga is one of the respected leaders by the youth in Mount Kenya. They will always stand with him, they will follow him, and that's the reason why this government is not comfortable with anyone 
like Maina Njenga who can lead youth to reject this government of William Samway Ruto. Maina Njenga can lead a protest on this government because one there is no delivery, we just need someone to lead. So these are the people working closely with Raila Amolo Odinga. So the big problem is that walikuwa na Raila, Raila akakuja akamo akamtaja kwa jina, kwa kuonekana he's a threat. All those kind of intimidation is pointing at one thing. Just by the fact that you see people coming out, just to know what Maina Jenga is going through. This government is helping Maina Jenga to gain popularity in this country. Instead of destroying him, they are building him. So even those charges they want to put on him, whether they are true or lies, they cannot work in their interest because already the perception is created that because he, ap he appeared at, at Mukami Kimandi's uh, pardon, that's the reason why now there is a kind of witch hunt toward him. So there's a perception already in the people. How can you change that? So, and now he will appear in the court, it will be seen as he's being persecuted. Whether it's truth or wrong, not true. So their timing was wrong, their timing was reactional, and it tells the reason why they are doing all this. It means Ruto is failing and his regime, the Gashagwe people, are failing to deal with the politicians eh, politically on a eh, ground. Rather than instead, the only way to do is use police officers as a tool to fight their opponent. That means already these are a kind of individuals who are, who are losing ground. This is a confirmation that the ground is shifting from support of William Ruto politics to the other side. Otherwise, if they were able to deal with the Maina and Jenga politically, they will just deal with him in that manner. And there will be not too much of this kind of harassment giving this kind of publicity. So it tells you that Mount Kenya is sending a message. Wale watu walikuwa pale, hawakuwa waduya, hawakuwa wajaluo, hawakuwa wakamba, wale ni wakikuyu. So anything that will be happening to him, they will see like William Ruto is fighting our own people. That alone will come with the consequences. I don't know your views, but let us be in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much and see you in our next video.